My name is Troy Lewis. I work at uh, Saffron Helicopter Engines. We're looking here at the Ares 2R. It's going to go on the Bell Helicopter 505. We're very excited about entry into service for this guy. It's a two modular design. It's a reverse flow annular type of combustion chamber that we have with this guy. Um, we have basically our N1 rotating assembly, the air intake through the intake screen here to a centrifugal compressor where we compress the air that gets admitted into our combustion chamber. It then becomes a reverse flow with the main fuel injection here at the pre-vaporizing tubes. Works up towards the front of the engine, then goes through our HP turbine, and then the gases go on to our power turbine, on out through the exhaust. The N1 operates well over 50,000 RPM. The N2 operates well over 40,000 RPM. And the main power drive is down here through the front. So we have basically an N2 connection with the through shaft design connecting to our drive pinion, our intermediate pinion, and our output pinion. Another exciting thing about this is that it's a dual channel FADEC type system. So this is the first dual channel FADEC that we basically had on the Air Use family of engines. It has two channels, one channel that's always in control of fuel flow, and one channel that's always in a backup mode. There's an alternate between operations of the engine. So if there's a failure on one channel, the other will take over. And in the unlikely event you have a dual stepper motor failure and a metering unit failure, we have an auxiliary control unit that acts as a backup to the backup on the side of the HMU. Thanks for your time and come check us out at the Saffron Helicopter Engines booth here at HAI 2017.